All right, it's Kurg time. Um, welcome to the Kurg uh, little demonstration here that I'm gonna do for you guys right now. Um, perhaps you're not really big into coffee and you're getting into it. That was me. And uh, I'm still not like a huge, huge coffee drinker, but when I want a cup, I want a cup. And this, to me, is the easiest and best option. Um, Keurig is a pretty, uh, pretty reputable company. Um, I'd say it's probably one of the best, if not the best, coffee manufacturer dispensary on the market today. And um, I'm not sure what actual model this is. I'm going to go and actually know exactly which one it is when I go and search online. I'll leave the link in the description below. But let me just show you exactly how it works. There's really not much to it. You have this uh, lid here and you can fill this container part with water. Um, let's add a little bit more. This actually comes off so you can easily just bring it over to the sink. Add some water like so. Slide it back into the container area. Look at that one hand. Easy peasy. And then the lid goes back on top. Now, the thing that makes Keurig a little bit different than other coffee dispensers and why it's so easy um, is because you don't have to measure out any kind of uh, actual coffee grains or beans or anything like that. You actually just have these little containers. They're called K-Cups. And uh, let's try the Dunkin' Donuts option. And what you do is you lift it up, place this inside as you can see i don't know if you can actually see but there's a little like a little prick uh, device that will actually puncture the bottom of the cup and when you push down on this that's when it happens and now when you put the cup down and push the on button it's going to take a, a little bit to actually warm up the water but once that's ready, uh, you have three options. You can uh, fill up a big cup, a medium cup, or a small cup. Um, this looks like more like a medium cup size to me, so to make sure that that does not overflow, I'm gonna hit the medium option once it's heated up and ready. As you can hear, maybe not because the fan is going on in the bathroom here. Let me turn that off. But you can hear the water uh, being heated up by the uh, heating element inside the Keurig. And in just a couple more seconds now, it's going to be ready. It does it pretty quick. Let's see. And it's getting louder and more intense. And it's almost there, it's getting a little softer now. And you don't only have to do this one time, you know, if the device was on, it, it's kind of like always ready to go. So if, if you're in an office situation and you want the coffee to stay hot, um, you know, once you turn it on in the morning, it'll be a lot faster than this. But this is just the initial uh, heating of new water being added to the unit. and. It's not making any more noise, so I'm going to assume that it's ready. I thought it would flash. As you can see, I don't really do this that often. Um, but here it is. We're going to go with the middle option. Hmm. Let's try this again. Ah, so you have to do that. Now they're flashing. Going to go with the middle option. And the magic is about to happen. There you go, folks. Delicious, wonderful, hot coffee. Very simple process. No mess. 
and as you'll see in just a couple seconds, super easy to clean up. I mean, there's pr pretty much nothing to it. And as you can see, the medium setting was pretty on target. Looks like it's done doing its thing. And we can release this top part. As you can see, it, it punctured a hole. It's a little bit hot, so be careful if you're taking it out and there's a hole in the bottom as well. And then you just throw this away. All done. As I said before, if you'd like to uh, get one of these for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can buy it on Amazon.com and it'll come to your house the very next day because Amazon is just like that. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video and uh, I'll see you next time.